Hi guys, Nick Lodian here, Nick Lodian's Gaming Channel. I'm going to go ahead and go into a little more in-depth into the Zyger Guide Gold Making. I'm going to be jumping around at several different characters, so there's going to be a lot of, you know, jumping cuts to show you all the different individual sections of the Gold Guide. So let's start off with how do you get to the Gold Guide. Simple. You just click this little orange drop down in the Zyger Guide window here. And we'll click on that, and you see it says Gold right here. Alright? Then it comes up with these five sections, which is Gold Runs, Farming, Gathering, crafting, and auctions. We'll go into each of those sections more in depth in just a second. Okay, so let's go to the first section, gold runs. Now this is doing dailies, running instances, which ones you can run the fast for the most payoff. So it's just quickly like this. The Claxi daily runs will take you five minutes. You make it'll net you 68 gold. Um, the August Celestials will take you five minutes. Get you it'll net you 57 gold. Then you can do this. You can get the bloodlust ma blood male transmog set. It'll take you about an hour. It'll net you 59,000 gold. So as you can see, there's lots of ways to make gold using the gold run section. Okay, next section will be farming. Now farming is the section where you will actually go to a certain area. You will kill enemies in order for their, and kill them for their drops. All right. So you can go and get sumptuous fur in Gorgrond at the rate of about 650 gold per hour. You spend about 10 hours doing that, you're going to net you about seven, almost 6,500 gold. So these are all broken down to you know what's most popular right now and what will net you the most profit. So you spend 10 hours doing ember soak cloth, it'll net you about 2,600 gold. So you, it's sorted by estimated amount per gold, so you can go do the most cost efficient thing for yourselves. All right. Next section is going to be gathering. Now gathering is collecting um, Reagents for um, s for crafting. So like sea scorpion, which is fishing, um, frostweed, which is for um, using your herbalism skill, volatile life, same thing, herbalism, alchemy. So that's what these areas are for. Again, it's the same thing as with the farming. What, what, how much it'll net you per hour if you spent 10 hours doing it? How much you would make? So you can do the math and figure out what it would co you know what, what's the most cost efficient way. Basically, the same thing as farming except you're not killing mobs you're just going and collecting things all right okay the next section is crafting that is using your profession skills your crafting profession skills such as um, leather working knitting in this case mine's alchemy okay using that alchemy skill and selling your cooldowns or crafting items in this case I can craft a river's heart buy a golden lotus and a lapis lazuli and I can craft for it cost me 27 gold and I can profit almost 600 gold for it so that's extremely cost efficient for me to make those. Okay, um, Earth Siege Diamonds, same thing. A Jade, Eternal Fire, and a Huge Citrine. Buy those and craft them. So that's what the crafting part of it's for. Basically just collecting these items that you need off the auction house, crafting a more expensive item, and then reselling it. Okay, Last section is going to be auctions. Now this is the part where it's really going to get in depth. So let's get and get jump right into it. Now, for the auction section, the first thing you need to do before we can even utilize the section is scan the auction house. So what you need to do is come to an auctioneer, Make sure this Zyger Guides window is stuck out, okay? And you're going to hit scan, not appraise, the actual scan button. Now, this may disconnect you from the server. If it does, that's fine. Reconnect and continue on. You hit the scan button again. The second time, it should not disconnect you. If it disconnects me, I'm going to go ahead and, and we'll do a jump cut and I'll reconnect and I'll log back in. So anyway, it'll say scanning auctions data. This is usually where it disconnects you. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and let it do its scan. Once it's all done, then we're going to reopen the gold guide. Okay, so it, no problem, we didn't disconnect. Alright, now you're going to close out of the auction house. You're going to reopen the gold guide, and you're going to go to auctions. Now this will tell you what your biggest, most prof what your most profitable items are right now. So right now, buying cobalt, cobalt bars, buy 187 of them, it'll cost me 250 gold to buy them all, and I will net me 416 gold profit. Okay, so it'll make me back my 250 gold, and I will get an additional 416. All right, so that sounds like a heck of a night. Six sounds like a heck of a deal for me. I don't know if I have the money for it on this character, which I do. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and buy the bars. Click them on the click on the little drop down here, and that'll add it to your shopping list. Now I'll show you where the shopping list is in just a second. Um, Magnificent hide, 13 of them right now on the auction house. Yeah, no, take those too. Um, and sorceress earth. Now, that doesn't really give as much of a profit margin. It's only 20 percent, so we'll skip that one. Um, lesser planar essences. There's 42 in the auction house right now for 16 gold. So yeah, we're going to nail those two. All right. 
So now that we're done with that, we have our little shopping list compiled. We're going to go ahead and go back to the auctioneer. We're going to go to this little highlight right here that says shopping. And when you click on it, it will actually search for those things. Now, the ones that have little gold coins are the ones you want to buy. So you're just going to start buying everything out. Now, this is somebody apparently has bought, taken one at a time, plunked them in the auction house, which is a pain in the ass, but people do it. So we're just going to keep buying them out. Now, I don't know if there's 42 this way or what, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to time lapse it here so you guys don't have to watch me buy each individual one. As you saw, there was a lot of those lesser player essences. Now, we're going to continue to scroll down through the list because I don't think that was all 42. And here's some more. You've got to make sure you scroll through the entire list every page because sometimes they're on different pages. So we're going to buy all of these. And they're not terribly expensive, so you know if we have to sit on them for a little bit, that's fine. 13 Magnificent Hides, we'll click on that next. And remember, find the ones with the gold coins. There, this one here that has two, we'll buy that one also. Down here, this one has six. So right now we are what? Eight, nine, ten. That one. We'll buy these three here that have the gold coin on them. Let's go ahead and grab all these magnificent hides. Beautiful. Last, cobalt bars. So we're going to have to keep scrolling through the menu here until we find them. 187 right there, 250 gold. Buy all those. All right. Now we're going to go collect them out of our mailbox, and we're going to ship them off to our bank character. Okay. Now this bank character is the character that you set up. We'll just collect on the Zyger guides because it will collect everything for us and stick it in our inventory. As you can see, it's just plunking it in there. All right. Now a bank character is something you want. I'm going to go into right now. Just give me just a second. So what's a bank character? Well, a bank character. I'm going to show you. For me, it's a level one character who does nothing but you j but you create him and you run him to the capital town. So in this case, mine is a level one human because it was the closest human city. And all they did was generate the character, didn't do a single quest, and ran him straight to Stormwind and parked him there. I bought him some nether weave bags, and he's just been sitting here. And he does all of my banking, all of my auctions. He does everything. If I, my inventory gets full out in the world, all I do is dump it in my thing and send it to him. And then he can put it in the auction house. So as you can see here, my mail has not arrived yet. It should have, though. Oh, wait, I probably didn't send it yet. So anyway, um, he can also, I'll show you how to use the Zyger Guides um, mailing portion of the add-on right now. Okay, so you've bought your items, you've collected them out of the mailbox, and now you want to send them to your bank character. Simple as this. All you do is go to the sender right here. It has collector and sender. Hit sender. Send who you want to send it to. In this case, I want to send it to Bankenstein because he's my bank character that we just created or who we had made. Okay. Now, what you want to do is click what you want to send him. We're going to send him the planar essences we just bought, magnificent hides, and the cobalt bars. I will right, send the monstrous claws to you. What the heck? Stuff he can put in the auction house really easily. I'll put in spirits of harmony too because those sell pretty well. And we hit send. Now, we don't have to type anything in this box. We don't have to fill anything. We just hit send, and it will send it to him. Gone. All right. Now, we're going to log back over to our bank character, and we'll collect it, and I'll show you how to put stuff in the auction house. All right. Here we are on our bank character. Now, we're going to go to the mailbox, and all you have to do is hit collect. Now, it actually creates a Zygor package. All right. They'll have all of these items in it. So what you want to do is just hit the collect button, and it will automatically dump it into your inventory. Just like that. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and go to the auction house, and I'll show you how to use the auction house putting stuff up for sale part of the add-on. Incredibly easy, incredibly intuitive. All right, so what you need to do is hit appraise all. Okay, that will actually appraise each individual items and tell you which ones to sell or which ones to hold on to. So we're going to hit, hit appraise all, and it's going to scan all of the stuff we have in our inventory to see what's worth selling and what's not. And the stuff will shuffle around the inventory here. All right? So it looks like we're done. Now, if you want to sell these modes of harmony, what you're going to do is hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click it. And it will actually move over to create auction. Now, you're going to wait until this, wait, see how it went green and then it went white? Green means it was updating the price of the auction house price and then setting it. So once it turns white, all you're going to do is hit create auction. 
Same thing with coal bars, shift click, wait for it to go white, and then hit create auction. And it will create all the stacks of 50 that we needed. Okay, shift click, wait for it to go white, and send. Just wash, rinse, and repeat. Just keep doing it. All right. And the monstrous claw is not going to sell for anything because it's the market's stagnant on it. You can see here it'll tell you all of the current minimum buyout sell, all of the basic auction house prices, the history, historical history. All right. Now I'm not going to sell the nuggets. I'm just going to hold on to those for now. So now you just sit back, wait, and when the auction, when the money rolls in, you're just going to go to your mailbox, hit collect, and voila, you've made money. I hope you found this guide informative. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. Um, questions, comments, concerns, please those in the section below. Um, I'm, glad, I'm here to help you guys make some money. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them to me. This is Nick Lodian signing off. I want to thank you for watching. Have a great day.